I was small and weak, so I couldn't hike Jeez. as far as the other boys. Hey, I that's a JoJo reference. One Yo, what's up, guys? We're gonna be checking out Haminations Boy Scouts. It sucked. If you've been on the channel, you know that I try to join the Boy Scouts, but then they told me uh, that, I think they told me that my check didn't go through and they didn't get my payment, so they didn't let me in, even though they did get my payment. I I'm just assuming they didn't wanna let me in the Boy Scouts, but let's go ahead and check out Haminations' experience. Bryson, your dad and I decided that all you boys are gonna be Eagle Scouts because we believe this hey, will help Eagle Scouts. for the real world be a huge accomplishment and help launch you into adult life. No thanks. I don't like doing scout camps. It's too <laughs> intense for me. It's not an option, man. You're doing it, bro. <laughs> you act like you had a choice. You're doing it. Oh no, not the creepy scout leader. Oh gosh. Hi, I'm Bryson, and my parents forced me to occasionally sleep outside in the middle of nowhere and called it Boy Scouts. Glad my despite parents didn't my do massive that. amount of weeping, wailing, and gnashing of teeth. And oh boy, do I have some stories about it. But as a gateway, they had me do Cub Scouts. The best thing I could say about Cub Scouts was that at least it was more chill. It was All more right. like, okay, kids, Chilling, today big dog. we're gonna do some bird watching and learn to tie a knot. But then <laughs> Boy Scouts were like, build an ice igloo and sleep in it or you'll die. Good luck. Seriously, the scout camps were so lawless. The only laws we followed were the laws of nature. Why were these adults giving 12 year olds the power of fire? One Can't year when my you. dad was a scout leader, he woke up to see that the boys had started a bonfire and were jumping through it. Stop! What? What are you boys thinking? Uh, we, we, we were testing our courage, Bryson's dad. Uh, we were also testing Charles Darwin's <laughs> theory of natural selection. If, uh, if, if any of us are uh, too weak, uh, we'll, 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 we'll follow the fire and die. Which will clean the gene pool, making the next generation stronger. Natural what? selection. Okay, that kind of makes sense. It does. All right, let me join in. Hey, <laughs> Bryson's dad lit. Oh, uh, <laughs> looks, looks like we lost one. Oh, never mind. He, whoa, he is lit. I was eased into scouts at a thing called Cub Scout Day Camp, where you would show up, do activities as a group, like the ring gutter regatta, duck duck goose, and tying knots. Then at night, your parents would pick you up and take you back to your air conditioned house. So you didn't <laughs> actually have to sleep in the dirt. I that remember being better. so jealous of the kids who had Lunchables. I was sitting there with a BLT oh. sandwich with apple oh slices, gosh. a homemade cookie Lunchables. in the shape of a heart, and a handwritten note from my mom telling That's me how much she loved me. That's when you flex on everybody. Meanwhile, Tyler had this. What a rip off. So but jealous. now in retrospect, <laughs> I'm grateful that my mom cared enough to pack me a lunch. One activity we did was we were going to learn how to make paper from like only stuff found in nature. Oh, we that were gonna takes be forever. the bare grills of paper making. I was so excited to learn. But then we got there and they said, okay, class, here's how to make yeah. homemade paper. These First, voices. Grab some toilet paper, <laughs> get it wet, mold it into the shape you want, let it dry. That is and not that paper. That's not like, making paper. Excuse me. That's like saying, here's how to make a chair from scratch. First, grab a chair. Right. And voila, you've made a chair. <laughs> One useful thing they taught me was how to safely carve wood with a knife. Always aim the sharp end away from your body and then stick the sharp end into another scalp. Oh, to my. I was cruising through the Cub Scout ranks. This man Tiger, unhinged. Wolf, bear, wee below. Still don't know what that is. But <laughs> then I had to evolve from a fun, relaxed Cub Scout into a hard, manly boy scout. Okay. And that meant going okay, on campouts ham. where I had to sleep in the wilderness. See, I used to be upset that I wasn't allowed into boy scouts, but you know, sleeping outside in the wilderness with bears and bugs and ticks and all of those things, yeah, it doesn't really sound too appealing. I probably would have opted for the Cub Scouts where like you get to be out during the day, but then, you know, towards the evening, your parents come pick you up and you get to sleep in your air conditioned house. You get to play your Nintendo 64. That's what I would have done. Sleeping outside, <laughs> I'm good on that. Dun, dun. <laughs> Going on scout camps was really scary and anxiety inducing for me. I was a really sensitive kid, so even just one night camping trips were a nightmare for me. I was small and weak, so I couldn't hike Jeez. as far as the other boys. Hey, I that's a JoJo reference. Few one night trips begrudgingly, <laughs> but when they announced a week long backpacking slash camping trip, I begged my parents to let me stay a home week? in the air conditioning and indoor plumbing. Could After not do much it. deliberation, they finally said I could stay home. I was so relieved, but then I stupidly tried 
tried to push my luck. This was around oh, no. the time that the <laughs> Nintendo 3DS was the hot don't thing push, that I desired don't push more luck. than anything in the whole world. So I asked, Mom, Dad, can I get a 3DS, please? Hmm. Look at the mom shaking I'll her head now. I'll buy no. you a 3DS. <laughs> really? If you go to scout camp. No! Ah. Can't I just get it for Christmas or something? No. If you want one, you need to go on this scout camp. I mean, Show that's a pretty good- reliant you are on technology. That's a good offer. In return, we'll buy you more technology. This was such an ordeal for little me. I wanted the 3DS so much, mm. but I despised scout camp. My mind raced trying to figure out a solution. Maybe, you did it. Maybe I'll mow people's lawns for money and do You definitely hands. did it. <laughs> I'll, I'll save up the money to buy it myself. No! If you don't go on this scout camp, so long as you live under my roof, you will never own a 3DS. I won't let you buy one even if you earn your own money. That's this petty. was a huge blow. I was devastated. And tragically, this was during the time when I still thought adults knew everything. And for some ah, reason, silly you. I assumed that dad could actually enforce this outlandish rule. Silly I you. I was trapped. I had to go. Adults don't know everything <sighs> at all. My parents said that the only way I could get a 3DS was if I went on this trip. Your parents are buying you a 3DS for this? My parents forced me to go or I'd be yep. grounded all summer. <laughs> anyway, you want some cold pizza sauce and cheese on a cracker from my Lunchable? And then every morning we woke up, packed everything up, and hiked for like 12 miles every day. Then oh. set up camp again. And I hated hiking. 12 Everyone miles? Everyone was always like, what a great view. But I was like, the view is never worth it. That's but a nowadays, long time. I like hiking and views. Of course, my legs are so long now that I only have to take three steps and I'm there. <laughs> but back then, I had little legs. I was so small and weak that the other scouts had to help carry my stuff. Oh, and I still Bryson. feel bad about it. I'm so sorry for being small and useless, guys. I honestly wonder why I didn't get called a twerp more often. Because I was one. It was probably a good thing I was so shy and quiet because if I had let my true annoying self shine through, the other scouts probably would have killed me with hammers while the <laughs> leaders laughed and said, <laughs> <laughs> Boys will be boys. Oh, uh, boys will be boys. Can't rocks be saying that no more. Heads. Oh, boys will be yeah, boys. You can't say that no, no more. <laughs> teach them how to not do stupid stuff. <laughs> Billy, stop throwing rocks and be nice. But I love myself just the way I am. Well, the way you are right now sucks. Damn. Do better. Try harder. No. Damn, Bryce. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh! You will learn respect. You awoken the savage. Be your teacher. Is me earth baby now? <laughs> Honestly, as much as I belly ached about it, having my friends there to talk to made it pretty fun. Not to mention being bribed meant at least one good thing would come of all this. Yeah, that definitely does it better. My parents never gave me those positive ultimatums. Like, you do the, or that's not really an ultimatum, but like, you do this and we'll get you this. No, no, no. It was, you do this or you're not sleeping under this roof kind of vibes. You feel me? It's not to hate. It's just to point out, you know, sometimes you got to count your blessings. He had to go to uh, Boy Scouts to get a 3DS. In order for me to get a 3DS, I had to make the money on my own. I had to, you know, buy broken iPhones, fix them up and resell them to make a profit to buy my own stuff. So, you know, count your blessings. You never know how lucky you are. We hiked, sang, caught frogs, and made a shelter out of sticks and bark to get our wilderness survival back. <laughs> Looking back though, it was funny how I always wanted to do my own thing, regardless of what the other boys were doing. They all decided to go skinny dipping in a pond, and I was like, no way am I doing that. But then, Travis lost his swimsuit in the pond and had to streak back to his oh. tent. And we later learned that the pond had leeches in it. Oh. The other boys wanted to stay up and make s'mores. And <laughs> I'm not going in a were pond. teach us some life lesson about not swimming in leech-infested waters or something. And I was like, no, I'm tired. I'm going to bed. Then on the drive home, we stopped at a burger place, and our leaders challenged us all to eat a burger with four patties. Ooh. But I knew my weak stomach couldn't handle that. I so like I that said, challenge. No, thank you. And got a normal burger and then everyone told me to go to college and i was like no i'm gonna be a youtuber and then nice. the irs told me to stop committing felony tax evasion ah! and i said try and stop me <laughs> that's a joke i love paying my taxes yep but I you better be joking i finished the trip <laughs> then i got home and was given a 3ds oh. i'm never going camping again until next time the next big scout trip I was forced to go on yep. was at this huge camp where tons of other scout troops would visit. Camp he arrived and, and this older scout came up to us. He held out his walking stick, pushed me aside and said, get out of my way. In scouts, there's a hierarchy among the boys where the older boys are allowed to be mean to the younger boys. Mm. However, I also had a glaring physical flaw that You're always small. had me at the bottom of the list. Yep. I was small, so even the younger scouts could beat me up. This Damn. boy was an assistant <laughs> leader at the camp and it was immediately apparent 
to me that he was the type of guy to get one micron of authority and let it and go directly it. to his head and abuse his power. Uh -huh. But he was we older know people and that like made that. him better than us. At least in his mind. I think it's really neat that you've earned all these merit badges, Man, buddy, I hated but people I think like you're that. missing some of the most important ones. And those are the emotional maturity badge, the coping with insecurity badge, and the going to therapy badge. Which is what I would have said if I had any confrontation skills. <laughs> Instead, I kind of just observed his arrogant attitude and silently judged him. And then years later, made fun of him online in a YouTube video. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Who's laughing now? That's how you get back at someone. Anyway, the leaders <laughs> took us to our campsite, and all of us slept in this rickety wooden structure <sighs> filled with bunk beds. Then we went to a ton of merit badge classes and filled out packets. Great, we're just doing homework in the woods! But at least we had some downtime to just play card games together. However, oh. one time while we were playing, this one kid, Sean, somehow fell out of his top bunk, did a flip through the air, and Damn. slammed into the ground. Clumsy ass! Anyways, got any force? What are you, a no. Disney character? I continued through the Boy Scout ranks reluctantly and against my will, and I had to get interviewed to become a life scout. But in case you forgot, interviewed. I was a shy little guy. The scout leaders that. asked me what I learned and what requirements I did and blah, blah, blah. Then one of the leaders said, can I give you some advice? You could work on your eye contact. Oh. And from that point <laughs> on, I've been really good at eye contact. What do you even get for being a life scout? You gotta teach other young boys how to survive in the wilderness? Like, do you get some moolah for that? Do you get bread? Do you get paid? Like, I need to know. Actually, I don't really need to know. Like I said, I haven't even been to the Boy Scouts. Tried to get in, wasn't allowed in, I was denied. It was probably for the best because I cannot do 12 mile hikes. I cannot go in ponds filled with leeches and I sure as hell cannot sleep outside. That is not for me. I'm black, bro. <laughs> Sometimes being told to cut it out is the solution. Look at my eyes. Look at them. See into my soul. The I can see them, bro. The next was a few years later. I was 16 and the leaders were like, hey kids, today we're going to learn how to shoot a shotgun. And this was Ooh. at a point where I still thought adults had Ooh. it all figured out. So I was like, okay, seriously, why were they letting 16 year old boys <laughs> wield shotguns? I don't know, Luckily, bro. we were okay. But what if one of the boys was feeling a little rambunctious that day? Or if they let their intrusive thoughts oh, win? No, Young don't do that. don't understand consequences yet. I'm 22 and I still don't understand them. I thought he was older, Loki. Key, damn. Anyway, they gave me the gun and threw a clay pigeon for me to shoot. You one handed that I shotgun? Hit it. My very first shot okay. and I hit it. Okay, and badass. And then I missed the next nine shots. 10% ain't bad. It's better than most of my school assignments. Then it came time to do an Eagle Scout project. So with a lot of help from my parents, I built some shelves to help my middle school organize their theater stuff. I had done it. I earned the rank of Eagle Scout. And nice. now I love camping. I'm so prepared for the real world now. I don't think you are. Can we see your resume? And what experience do you have that you believe oh will gosh. help you excel in this role? I don't Robin have a resume is. or any applicable experience, <laughs> but check out this square knot though. Honestly though, <laughs> I don't think I deserve this award. I can't even start a fire on my own. And I'm not very trustworthy, loyal, helpful, friendly, courteous, kind, obedient, cheerful, thrifty, brave, clean, or reverent. My mom was the one that pushed for it. And I guarantee you that without her constant help with merit badges, camping you gear, would not be lists, doing and it. <laughs> encouragement, I would not have earned this. She also helped my three brothers earn their awards. Damn. And I guarantee you Whole that family she some Eagle Scouts. longer than me. She's the real Eagle Scout, not Super me. Mom. And so, by the power vested in me, by me, I officially revoke my Eagle Scout status and I award it to my mom. Hey, the moral of the story is that it's okay for your parents to force you to try new things sometimes. Maybe you'll make a video about it later. Okay, that's all the time I've got. I've got to get back to playing Animal Crossing New Leaf on my Nintendo 3DS. Well, congratulations to Haminations for making it to Eagle Scout rank. Um, I would not have reached that far, but hey, it's good your parents pushed you. I kind of wish my parents pushed me to do some more things when I was young, but you know, being young and being born to Nigerian parents, the only thing really on their mind is study school, study school, study school, study school, study school, and repeat. But don't forget to like, subscribe, share this video, all of that great stuff, because that was it. My name is Prince Hawkum. Stay charming, my friends.